What's up everybody? It's Alex again. Gonna start do doing daily vlogs on weekends. So I guess they really aren't called daily vlogs. They're called weekend vlogs. So I'm gonna be doing Saturday and Sundays. And I'm also still gonna be bringing you that NBA stuff. So watch out. Alright, let's start the day. <laughs> Oh man. Mm. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. We gotta get there. These things have to be used outside. I wish it wasn't storming right now. I almost wanna go buy one. But he he knows it out here. Lift baby, lift up. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. There it is! Oh look at that go! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on. What's up, Jack? Uh, what are you playing? Two K-O's. I mean, I play the seventeen. Two K seventeen. Yeah. That's cool. Playing as the Kings. Yep. Yeah. Did you know I'm going to the Kings game tonight? Yeah, I know. Ah, yeah. look! <laughs> What's the score? 27 to 17? Come on, Jack! You gotta catch up! I know! I know! <laughs> Jack, what's your, who's your favorite player? Uh, um, number 15. Number 15? Yeah. You mean DeMarcus Cousins? Yeah. That's and, cool. And, and, and my second player is Costa Kufis. You mean Costa Kufis? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to the Kings game tonight. Gonna have a blast. Probably get a new jersey. What jersey? Um, I'm probably gonna get a Garrett Temple jersey, number 17. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Man, even the arena in the game looks cool. <laughs> Look, there's Slamson. <laughs> <laughs> the Kings actually look pretty good this year, even though they've been on a losing skid recently. I think they'll pick it up, and tonight's a very good opportunity. All right, Jack, you're catching up. Nine-point game. Yeah. Got to play some defense, though. Man, I'm still surprised Richard Jefferson's still playing in the league. I remember when he was with the Nets in the early 2000s when they went to the finals back-to-back -back years. Stephon Marbury. Oh my gosh, don't get me started on that guy. Oh my gosh. He was crazy. Yeah, Remember him with the Knicks? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Dude, don't even, don't even get me He started. was crazy. Don't. don't. <laughs> this dude, man, you know he started playing overseas? For the yeah. League? Isn't he still doing that? Like yes. playing in like China or yes. something? Yes. And I think he's won three titles over there in China. Really? And MVP, yes. Man, he's got to be like 40 years yes, old. Yes, he, he's about, he's, <laughs> definitely, and it's like. Oh my gosh. All those guys, even, uh, you know Sebastian Telfair is his cousin. Really? Yeah. Sebastian, oh my. Sebastian Telfair is Stephon Marbury's cousin. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. They both, no, Telfair came out of high school. Yep. Not Marbury. I yep. thought both of them did. Nope, yeah, I remember Telfair. 
I didn't even know they were cousins until Yeah, I actually uh, found that out a few years ago. I found that out a week ago. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh! As much basketball as I watch, I found that out a week ago. Oh man, that's crazy! I was devastated. I said, wow, man, I've been watching basketball, I didn't know this. It's almost like the Mike Bibby, Eddie House thing. But they're like brothers, brothers-in-law. Right, I was like, no, really guys? Yeah. <laughs> then you got Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady, of course. Probably one of the best relatives yeah. to ever <laughs> be in the game, NBA. Definitely. Who do you think was better, Tracy or Vince? Tracy, I would have to say all-around player because he could hit you up close and far range. Vince was more so his early years. Yeah, he, he was, was more just driving to the dunker, and I'll, I'll embarrass you. <laughs> but versus, oh man, but versus yeah. Grady, who's like, I can go, you know, I can finesse you, cross you up, <laughs> yeah. and, and get Vince. Hey, he scored 13 points in 33 seconds. That's insane. That's yeah. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. And like points in 33 seconds, people. Yeah, and remember those uh, All Star games where Vince would like throw it off the backboard and yeah, just slam yeah, it. Yeah, just, oh my God. And then Tra Tracy started doing it too. I'm like, <laughs> guys, I'm like, you guys are like the best duo right now in basketball. That's yeah, that's like. crazy. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, me too. I think uh, Tracy started playing overseas. No, I don't think he played overseas. No, I don't. Do you know he actually tried baseball? Yeah, like last year or something. He like was on a what's up with like a farm team. What's up with everybody wanting to retire and do baseball? I don't know. <laughs> I guess Michael Jordan started the whole trend. <laughs> That's why only thing it's like, guys, what's going on? With yeah, that? it's crazy how like these guys retire and then boom, they're like. I can't play basketball anymore, but heck, I can do another sport. Yeah, I can do another sport <laughs> if you just weren't doing like this same sport for like 15, I know. 20 years. <laughs> yeah. That's like Kobe saying, I think I'm going to do hockey. Because That'd be crazy. He'd get destroyed. Like Kobe. You just played 20 seasons on this court and you want to go and do hockey? <laughs> What's your problem? What's yeah, your problem? That, that's crazy right there. I'm not yeah. going to do it. I'm actually really excited for the game tonight. Even though I go to a lot of Kings games, this one's going to be really cool. That's what's up. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I've been to a Kings game. It's been that long. What's up, Jack? Eh. So it's halftime? Yep. That's cool. All right, so now I'm going to talk about my opinion on the Cavs getting Kyle Korver. Let him hear it. I'm a big fan of Kyle Korver, even from his going way back to his Philadelphia 76ers days. To be honest, part of the reason I like how he wears a weird number, number 26, <laughs> but he's also a good player too. He can knock it down. Yeah. He's almost as good as. Ray Allen with the three. And that's saying something. So, yeah. In my overall opinion, Cavs, I think, are going to go back to back. What do you think, Jack? Uh, yeah. You do think so? Yeah. Alright. Do you think you're going to win this game, Kings versus Cavs? Alright. Well... I'm back from the game. It was a really cool game. Kings battled in the first half and was making it competitive. And then it was kind of iffy in the third and fourth quarter. And Kings ended up losing 116-107. to 107. It was a really good game. I was really impressed with Cousins, Temple... And the starting lineup was very interesting. They started Darren Collison, Garrett Temple, um, Anthony Tolliver, and uh, DeMarcus Cousins, and Rudy Gay. Never seen that lineup before on the court together, and it was very interesting. They seemed to work really well, just need to make it work more because I think it was the first time that was done. I'm excited to see what will come of 
the Sacramento Kings coming up in their next few games. This was, even though they lost, it was a good game to build off of. And you saw my day, so I'm signing off. And remember, every day, be you and ball out.